Hey Dennis, Cheesehead here with uh, my friend Bobo the monkey and you're probably asking why is a puppet monkey joining Cheesehead here uh, in my presentation. Well, you want to know about Web 2.0 and Bobo here is an expert on Web 2.0. So I invited Bobo along to kind of guide us through the principles that make Web 2.0 what it is. So if Bobo is ready, looks like he is, uh, Bobo, you also ready for the Indians playoff run? Yeah, he's ready for the Indians, Cleveland Indians playoff run. Uh, watch for that in October. So Bobo, what is the first thing people should know about uh, Web 2.0? It's about the technology. It's about the technology. Uh, if you couldn't hear him, he's, he's a monkey, so he doesn't speak real clearly. Uh, Web 2.0 is largely about the technology because Technology as it is today is cheaper and easier to use, easier to plug in than it ever has been uh, before. So without the technology being easy and kind of uh, um, easy for people to grasp and use uh, and cheap and, and accessible, we wouldn't have Web 2.0 the way that it is today. In the old world, technology was obviously a little difficult to use um, and obviously much more expensive than it is today. So technology is kind of the first rule of, of Web 2.0. And uh, Bobo agrees. So Bobo, what's uh, what's the second thing that uh, that people should think about when they think Web 2.0? It's about you, the individual. Bobo's so smart. So it's about you, the individual, and not you, Dennis, but everyone else that that's out there and everyone else out there in the world. Uh, in case you missed it, Time Magazine recently uh, voted the individual the person of the year. Uh, I think that included monkeys too. So Bobo's excited about that. He was person of the year. Um, so. The technology has enabled people and individuals to have have power that they've never had before. Um, you know, I can start a blog today and, and have a voice that goes across the globe, and people in India and the UK and China, and everywhere else, can can see what I've written. I can put a video on YouTube um, and connect that or share that with people all over the globe. Um, I can join a social network and, and have an individual voice um, in what I do. So. The individual itself, combined with the technology, are kind of the first two pieces that make Web 2.0 what it is. Uh, and Bobo, what, what's the third thing that, that people should know about with, with Web 2.0? It's about connecting with everyone else. Bobo is so smart. He's such a smart puppet monkey. Um, so you have the technology that's easy and cheap. You have the person that's empowered like never before. So obviously the next thing that happens is you get all of these people start connecting to each other and having a dialogue. Uh, MySpace obviously a big example. Uh, currently the most traffic website on the web. Uh, Bobo has a MySpace page and he's on it all the time. Uh, Facebook another example of a tremendously fast growing site uh, that is enabling people to connect in a way that, that they haven't before. Um, you get bloggers and, and forums, uh, not so much chat rooms anymore, but you're getting uh, people together and putting a face to those people that didn't really exist in, in Web 1.0, so to speak. Uh, web, web, yeah, maybe you should take over, uh, Bobo. No, probably not. Uh, web 2. Point, web 1.0, sorry, it's great that I'm not in front of anybody so I don't feel that embarrassed. Uh, web 1.0 was really more about, you know, getting something online, getting a few web pages up, uh, hoping that people would come to the site or promoting it, um, and, and that just wasn't a very dynamic way to, to interact with people and get them involved with what you're doing. So today it's much more about uh, bringing people together and, and connecting them in a way that, that's never existed before. So we've talked about technology, we've talked about the individual, and we've talked about bringing all those individuals together. So what's the fourth element of, of Web 2.0, Bobo? Push versus pull. What was that? Push versus pull. Well, if you couldn't understand him, uh, he says push versus pull. Now, what does that mean? Well, in the old 1.0 days, um, it was really all about pushing yourself onto people. Um, you might remember spam email, which obviously still exists today as a, as a real headache back in, in the web 1.0 days. Um, Pop-up ads, interstitial ads, things that really interrupted your web uh, experience, which was really, really bad. And uh, those things are kind of uh, exemplified by pushing yourself onto people. Web 2.0 is more about pulling people in. 
So whether it's giving them value via a blog or sharing videos, entertaining them in some way, uh, giving people a platform to uh, interact with each other and be more dynamic, having a conversation with whether it be job seekers or, or current employees, um, that's more of what Web 2.0 is about. It's about pulling people in uh, into your message, serving them instead of selling to them, um, and that's really kind of Web Web 2.0. So. Uh, if your website or what you're doing isn't doing some of those things, if, if you're not integrating, uh, you know, empowering your, your employees, empowering your employees to interact with other, other people across, across the world, across the net, um, and if you're not pulling people into your site, giving them a reason to kind of stick around and, and share um, ideas and connect with other people, you're really putting yourself at a disadvantage and you're probably getting your butt kicked uh, by the competition, which is a bad thing and we don't want to see that. So if you want to practice a good web 2.0. Uh, put those things into effect that Bob and I talked about and uh, you'll be in good shape. And that's all we got. So uh, Dennis, good luck for the rest of your presentation. We appreciate you uh, inviting us in as a guest and I uh, hope everyone has a great show. Thanks a lot.